Oh my gosh, guys, it was so embarrassing. This has to be one of the most embarrassing things to ever happen to me in my modeling career. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, consider subscribing. I make weekly videos uh, where I give you guys some of the best tips on how you can become a model. I also give some fashion tips and I do some awesome travel vlogs as well. So do check out my page and hopefully you subscribe. <laughs> All right guys, so as you guys probably guessed from the title, this video is about my modeling horror story. One of the most embarrassing things to ever happen to me in my modeling career. All right, so let me take you guys back to when I first started modeling. Um, I first started modeling when I was 17 years old. You know, um, I was very excited. I didn't know much about the industry. I didn't know how, how things worked. Um, I found a photographer who I worked with before. He shot my headshots. Um, he shot some of my model com cards and he's, he was pretty good actually. So then I sort of built a relationship with this photographer where, you know, he would invite me to his studio or just to hang out and like check out some of the behind the scenes work that he's doing. Um, you know, and he would also shoot me for free, do some test shoots and stuff like that. So he was a really cool guy, um, but I wasn't prepared for what he was about to do to me next. So one day he calls me up. He's like, hey, Francis, you know, um, can't come over to my studio. Let's do a test shoot. You know, I got this great model. She's also Nigerian. I think you would love to meet her. You guys can do a test shoot together. This would be great. So I'm like, okay, this is gonna be awesome, you know, going to the studio to shoot with a, another model, um, someone who's from my country, et cetera. Um, and you know, why not? I mean, it's a free photo shoot, so why not go, right? So I get to the studio, I meet the model, and he's like, yeah, you know, I would love for you guys to do an underwear shoot together. I'm like, okay, uh, when do you wanna do it? He's like, right now. And I was like, uh, hmm. So basically, you know, I ended up stripping down to my boxers. Um, we did some test shoots and that was okay. For me, doing an underwear shoot at 17 was a little bit awkward, but that's not even the worst part at all. All right, so what he did next was that he said, look, look guys, I really have this vision. I want you guys to put on something more sensual. I want it to be like a nude photo shoot, but you don't have to be completely naked. You're gonna wear a thong. Pause. You're gonna wear a thong. And I was like, okay, she's gonna wear a thong. No, he's like, no, you're both gonna wear a thong. And I was like, okay, this is weird. First of all, the photographer didn't realize that I was only 17. I think he was under the impression that I was 20. And that's because when I was younger, I used to lie about my age so I wouldn't have to have my parents sign stuff for me or go everywhere with me or whatever. All right, so the next thing that happened was where it got really embarrassing. So he had the model, um, the female model stripped down to her thong and you know, she had like sort of like a silhouette on the side and what he wanted to get was my face right above her butt or whatever, right? So it was kind of like, like a yin yin yang kind of effect but with her butt and my face, if that makes any sense. You know, he kept telling me, yeah, you know, I want you to go in there like a, like a yin yang. I want your face to like, you know, sort of like form and fill in the gap of where her back curves and meets her, her buttocks or whatever. So it was kind of weird. Um, he really had this vision and he was like super excited about it and he really wanted to do it He's like, yeah, come on guys. Let's do it. Let's get it So we were both uncomfortable especially just meeting each other. It's like hey nice to meet you now Let me sniff your butt like that was really weird So anyway, so you could tell that she was like a little bit nervous because she was shaking and I was like back there behind her and like You know, I was trying not to get too close and I was trying to hold my breath So I don't breathe into her back and she you know tickles her or whatever. So it was kind of weird so um the whole time I'm shooting and I'm so uncomfortable, the photographer kept going, get closer Francis, get closer, get closer. And I'm like, uh, how close do you really want me to get? Like my face is literally on her cheek. Like this is weird. So after we shot that, I was like, Whew. thank God this is over. This is a weird photo shoot and I never want to do this again. But he's like, okay, great. Now I have an idea. Let's reverse. Basically what happened was that I had to put on a male thong, which I've never worn. That was my first and only time to ever wear a male thong. And luckily you guys will never see that image. And if you do see it, please destroy it. So I had to put on this male thong and she had her face behind my butt, trying to fill in that gap of where my back and my butt meets to kind of form like a yin yang kind of effect that the photographer envisioned. So 
it was extremely uncomfortable, extremely embarrassing. You, you have no idea how many thoughts were going through my mind in per second. It was like the worst thing that could ever happen to me in front of like the photographer, in front of the clients, in front of other models, like, you know, just meeting this model that's beautiful. And then now she's like behind my butts, like, you know, so close where I can actually feel her breathing on my back. It was so weird. So after the photo shoot was over, I was so embarrassed that I couldn't even look at the model in the face and like say, hey, you know, nice working with you, you know, blah, blah, whatever. Like, I was so embarrassed. I just wanted to go home. Um, I left hoping that I would never see that image again. Next time I came to his uh, studio, he had that image framed and blown up and hung on his wall. And that was like, whoa, this is embarrassing. So yeah guys, so that was my modeling horror story and probably one of the most embarrassing moments in my modeling career. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're ever in a situation like that, make sure you, you talk to your photographer, make sure you know exactly what kind of photo shoot you're about to get into before you commit. Um, if you guys have other stories that you'd like to share, please drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, if you enjoyed my video, don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.